The logging of California's giant redwood trees is a big job. Even before the trees are felled, a railroad has to be built to take the trees to the mills to be cut into lumber. Surveyors lay out the lines that are followed by the railroad. The ties and the rails are laid even before the trees are felled. The X means that this tree will itself be used in moving other trees as soon as they are brought down and cut into logs. The topper will cut off the top and the tree will be rigged with cables and pulleys. For most people, a job like this would seem too dangerous. But then logging is a hard and dangerous work, and these men take pride in their strength and courage. They are the men who fell the trees and get the logs out of the woods so that we may have lumber, for houses, for furniture, for the thousand uses of wood. And all in his day's work, over goes the top of this tree. The job of logging is well underway. Donkey engines are brought up to lift the big logs, haul them around and place them on railroad cars. Heavy cables and huge pulleys are needed to lift logs weighing up to 50 tons. The actual felling of a tree begins with the making of a scaffold for the axemen to stand on as they work. Then they begin their cutting cutting their way into trees that may be as old as our civilization. For the redwood trees of California are probably the oldest of living things. The redwoods that grow along the coast live to be 2,000 years old. They are young at 350 years, they are mature at 1,000 years, and they reach old age at 1,500 years. All of the world's history since Christ was born could have occurred during the life of perhaps one of these redwoods. But just as the tree itself is able to live through centuries, to live even through forest fires, so when the axes, the wedges, and the saws bring it down, the lumber will last for many, many years. That is why it is very valuable as lumber. Insects and fungi do not hurt it and it actually resists fire. So the saws keep working and the axemen bring the tree down, figuring the fall carefully so as not to hit other trees and splinter the wood. When the cutting is finished, the men get away fast from the base of the tree as it falls, for sometimes trees twist or fall in a way not expected. But usually they fall just as the axemen figured. 